what is up our world gamers welcome to the first ever part of a new let's play that i'm calling the middle eastern coalition mec and actually i'm i don't remember and i don't recall but patriot joel lefik long time subscriber viewer thanks to him i think you said something about this was this supposed to be a versus or a let's play i'm not sure but i decided to take action and do a new let's play with saudi arabia aka the middle eastern coalition the only problem is I can't change the flag to the MEC, so you know, got to deal with the uh, flag of Saudi Arabia. I can only change the thumbnail of the flag, and that's about it. But anyways, the goal of this Let's Play is to take out all of the Middle Eastern nations, that's it, including Yemen, <coughs> Yemen, Oman, the United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Bahrain, Kuwait, Iraq, Jordan, Syria, Lebanon, Turkey, Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, uh, again, only Arab nations. I won't be taking Israel. Israel can just sit there. As long as they don't declare war on me, I won't take them out. But we'll see. Anything could change and anything could be possible if, you know, you guys want me to uh, take Israel and if they declare war. So, let's see what happens. I've deployed all my units, naval, air, and sea. Uh, Saudi Arabia is having problems with their lack of reserves finally. I thought it wouldn't happen to Saudi Arabia since they have a good strong economy and a semi what average military even though it says low on the uh, I know this is Oman but the military is weak in the overview section for uh, Saudi Arabia. But anyways, first target, I haven't decided actually. I got my units lined up in uh, Kuwait. I can take Kuwait first. I can take Jordan. Hmm. I haven't decided about who to take first? I can take Yemen. Yemen's a pain, actually, since their capital is very far away. And the uh, lack of supplies in the area, even though Saudi Arabia's uh, supplies are relatively well, actually, to be honest. And by the way, if you missed the Supreme Ruler Marathon, which is about four hours, actually, there's a link below to my Twitch. Follow me there. I'm also happy to announce a new marathon is going to come soon, which is going to be a versus marathon on Twitch as well. Uh, basically... You guys can leave any verses that you want, you can request, and then I'll be doing those verses during the stream for like two to three hours, maybe even four tops. So that's something to look forward to. And then the Steam contest is about to happen actually in about a day or two. Rumors are it's going to happen the 23rd. So there's a Steam cell coming, that means the Steam contest 8th or 9th edition will start, and I'll be giving away between 10 to 15 games to about 15 random winners so be on the lookout for that as well without further ado enough talks um i guess kuwait will be my first target i've got my units lined up why not and they're adding a bunch of garrisons as well in their uh, nearby towns and oil fields five garrisons in kuwait city or al kuwait let's get this show in the row row i mean road <clears throat> all right there we go I'm gonna have to switch up to Deathcon 1. For some reason, I say Deathcon instead of Defcon. Ah, oh, well, you guys get it. I like calling it Deathcon. What's the point? This is war. It's gonna be a lot of death anyway. <laughs> Alright. I could assume that Iran will probably come to this war very soon. Already, uh, Israel has already declared war on Iran, by the way. And I've also taken uh, notice and actually been building. A bunch of Vodnik infantry units, as you can see, Vodnik light. So I took your guys' uh, ideas and started building Vodniks. Because they're cheap, and I can build four to 5,000 of them. And easily take on nations. By the way, uh, actually, never mind. Most of the Vodniks are useless or obsolete, and they get damaged pretty quick. What can you do? Again, you guys requested it, so here it is. Oh, come on, really? See, it's either this or using the uh, advanced future rapids effective system from uh, the UK, which I can't even buy anymore. Actually, I can. You know what? Just in case, let me go buy that. 6.1 billion? Okay, they want more, of course. 8, 10.1 billion. There you go. Uh, I'm not digging the Vodniks right now, 
but I'll stick to it for now. Again, the only reason why I couldn't build more was because of the lack of reserves that Saudi Arabia is having right now. We got problems with that right now. And I want this to be a successful Let's Play. I've always wanted to do a uh, Middle Eastern correlation sort of thing. Which is actually an idea from uh, EA's DICE Battlefield 2, actually, to be honest. Which was back in 2005. That game was amazing. I prefer Battlefield 2 over uh, the new Battlefield 3 and 4. Just my opinion. They're both good in their own rights, but I don't know. Something about Battlefield 2 that I missed. Alright, let's see. Five garrisons and a bunch of artillery. I'm gonna have to take Jalib first. Alright. Just that's where I got this idea from. Middle Eastern Coalition from Battlefield 2. Alright, let's take out some units here. And I think this is all I need. I really don't want to use all my units which are lined up in different borders around Saudi Arabia. Let's see, Vonnex, Raphael's, what is it? Yeah, no, Rattel's. Raphael's, that's a name. For Christ's sake. What is this? Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, guys. I, I prefer the uh, Future Rapids effective system, even though, as you said, it's a lot easier, quicker, and cheaper to uh, build Vonnex, but... I still prefer the Future Rapids effective system. The most advanced infantry vehicle in the game. Right now, actually. Not just for right now. Oh, God. Dang it. Are you kidding me? Alright, now take Kuwait City. We gotta get some units up for repairs. I should be using air units as well. I'm gonna bring those in just a sec. I just need to get this, you know, <laughs> through. Let's see, this guy, M1A3. I'm using the M1A3 as my main battle tank right now, by the way. I've been using the uh, Challenger 3 most of the time. I'm switching it up a bit here to the M1A3 Abrams. Okay, air units right here. Let's bring him in. ADB Tornadoes from the UK. Good. All right, that doesn't help. All right, retreat. Are these bombers interceptors? I forgot. Flying low altitude interceptors. It says right there. Hello. <laughs> they don't work. So let's use the F-15 Strike Eagle instead. Those are multi. There we go. Much better. No, wait, guys, go the other guys going the other way. Nope, 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 nope. How are we doing here? More repairs needed. Of course. Somebody getting. Who's getting sunk? 44 unit kills. I heard. A naval ship getting destroyed somewhere around the area. Probably India or Pakistan. Again, just a reminder Supreme Lord Marathon. Link below if you missed it enjoyed it and everyone had a good time there was also a cap caps party by the way just let you guys know <laughs> come on hurry one more garrison just one more to let's do there we go got it all right we got it don't destroy that tank i want those tanks those are abrams yes <coughs> all right we got M113s and about four tanks. Sweet. And a bunch of patrol ships I can use just in case Iran does something fishy. Because Iran's right there. And they're not taking me lightly anymore. Same thing with Iraq. Hell, maybe even Israel. Even though Israel is broke, Israel is going in debt. So that'll make it easier for me to invade them. And uh, to loss, Luis Rodriguez. I kind of pronounced your name wrong. Luis Rodriguez, uh, I promise that once the Let's Play of Mighty Norway is done, I will start your Let's Play with, of course, Honduras. 
the goal of that let's play. Actually, I'll explain it when I start the uh, new let's play with Honduras, but I got you covered. That's going to be the next let's, let's play after I'm done with Norway. Just to let you know. And then, of course, everyone's verses that everyone has requested will come soon enough. Alright, uh, okay, let's see. Who's next? I should be going for the other Gulf Nations first, actually. The UAE. The UAE is actually pretty tough. Just to let you guys know. Thank you. To the United Nations. I don't enjoy taking the United Arab Emirates that much. Or Yemen. Jordan, I'll, I'll leave Jordan alone for now. Just because I don't want to border Israel yet. I'll take out Iraq. And then Jordan. Yeah, that's the plan. That is the plan. Alright. Um, these are the guys that were repaired. Yes, they are. So, let's just head to Qatar, actually. Let's do that first. Again, leave some comments below what you guys think of this new Let's Play with Saudi Arabia, a.k.a. what I'm calling it, the Middle Eastern Coalition. I like that name. Thank you, Battlefield 2. And I miss you, Battlefield 2. Okay. Let's repair some of these tanks. You know what? I think I'll pause the video to repair all these units. You guys don't want to see this. That's what I might have to start doing. You guys do not want to see, you know, three minutes, five minutes of repairing my units. So I'm going to do a quick pause here and then continue it later. Alrighty, this ought to be enough units for Qatar. Uh, well, I've taken notice, actually, about the Avonics. Well, there's one good thing about them, and that is that they build fast. Even though they're cheap. That's a good thing, by the way. And, uh, they get damaged pretty quick. They can be built really fast, so I've taken notice of that. So, I like that. But still, I prefer the, uh, the Fress unit. <clears throat> Alright, Qatar, let's declare war. Alright, bada bim, bada boom. Holy shit, they got missiles in there. And they're coming in like a storm. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, why are you going? Why trying to retreat? Oh, okay, just get out. Fine. Fine, jeez. All right, I guess we'll attack the capital right now. Why not? Easy, simple enough. Don't want. Hey, be careful. All right, let's get the hell out of dodge. Oh, I didn't even have to. Okay, sweet. <laughs> there goes uh. Qatar, I guess I could take Bahrain as well, but, but Bahrain, holy crap, man, where they get all that? I see a bunch of supply trucks, though, that's all I see in there, which is weird, three garrisons, I think I could take uh, Bahrain, where are you guys going? No, just stay there, guys, just stay there, you repair, I guess I'll take Bahrain as well, why not? Uh, repair this air unit, send this alpha jet over there. They're an airfield? No. The airfield's right here. Oh, it's full. Dang, it only fit 14. I think back in the old updates, or the old versions, you can uh, put as many aircraft in one airfield, but now they've taken that away. It can only fit 14. Bummer. Alright, let's see. Repairs again. Pause. Well, speak of the devil, as I've said in the beginning of this new Let's Play, Israel has declared war. Even though I actually signed a non-aggression pact with them. Uh, great. Got to deal with Israel. Let's just hope Egypt doesn't come into this war. Oh, boy. Things are getting spicy over here now. Okay. Bahrain. Oh, the game is paused. And by the way, you guys are going to have to get used to the uh, pausing and unpausing. I think it helps and saves time and footage and whatnot. This takes a lot of memory out of my PC, by the way. Like, if you record for more than 15 minutes, it'll be like around 60 gigs. And that'll take a long time to edit and upload. So, you know, that kind of saves time for me. So, yeah. Okay. Manama. Three garrisons, a bunch of supply trucks. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's hope that these bridges don't get destroyed. There's two bridges 
I should be invading from both sides. I'm not sure why I'm not doing that. So let me just do this real quick. Send you guys over there. Grab these fighter jets out of here. Send them to an empty airfield that I could find. Ah, screw it. Send you all the way over there. I want to save these fighter jets, yo. Ah, send you guys over there as well. All right, let's do this. Last nation to take out. For the debut of the Middle Eastern Coalition. Featuring Saudi Arabia. Oh, snaps. Success. Wait a minute. Don't, don't shoot. No. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Get you guys. I need to save these uh, naval ships. Saudi Arabia's mili uh, naval military is really weak. I don't have enough of those. Gotta save those. You know, I'll barely use them. Guys, get in there. What are you guys doing? Yay! The day has ended. Yes! Got me a frigate. Holy crap, it's the uh, Oliver H. Perry. I think that's one of the most advanced uh, U.S. Naval, naval ships ever. Currently in the game. I like that. Sweet. I'll save that. Oh no. Probably Iran. Called it. But that doesn't matter, to be honest. Even though they'll probably shoot missiles at me right now. This patrol ship is dead. Let's watch in horror. Holy smokes. Okay, they can shoot from all the way. Uh, <laughs> Alright, hey, chill. Alright, I get it. I get it. And they're shooting missiles all the way over here to uh, Al Salam. Okay, come on, guys. Chill. Jeez. Whew. This guy almost died. Roofless. Um, well, that's the end of the first ever part of the Middle Eastern Coalition. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for all the support and love, guys.